Hi, welcome to a SkyMind screencast tutorial. These are screencasts with voiceover, and in this one I'm going to demonstrate getting started with deep learning for J. This is going to be a video of the instructions that can be found at our quick start, uh, which is located at that URL. If you have questions or issues, you can chat with us on our Gitter channel. We're using the examples here and the guide there. Enjoy! Hi, in this example we're going to demonstrate getting started with deep learning for Java. So I'm going to go through the steps in our quick start and we're going to set up an environment that you can view our examples and get started writing your own neural networks uh, in Java in IntelliJ using Deep Learning 4J. We need to follow the steps here in this quick start. So we're going to need a version of Java. We're going to need Maven. Deep Learning for Java uses Maven to manage its dependencies. We're going to use IntelliJ and that's what we recommend. There's a free version, a community version of IntelliJ. We're going to be using Git to download an example repo. So let's go ahead and get started. To use Deep Learning for J, you will need a version of Java. So verifying here on the command line that I have Java installed, I do. We're going to need Maven. So let's verify that I have uh, Apache Maven installed, and you'll need a recent version of Maven. And do I have Git installed? I do. So Git's going to be the tool that's going to download our repo uh, that we're going to use in IntelliJ. So I have Git, Java, and Maven. I'm good to go. After verifying that I have Git, Maven, and Java installed, we can go ahead and clone the examples. So the command here just says download the DL4J examples repo. So git clone github deep learning for J DL4J examples. Okay. When that git command is complete, it will have downloaded this DL4J examples folder. About 247 megs. So there's some data, there's some Java code in there. We want to change to that directory and run the maven clean install command which will set up our DL4J environment. So maven uses a configuration file called a pom.xml and running uh, maven clean install. We'll go ahead and read that uh, pom.xml and build what is needed. When that maven command completes maven clean install, it will have built uh, deep learning for J's uh, dependencies. When the maven clean install command completes, it will have built uh, a bunch of stuff in our Maven repository, so in our local.m2. You're not going to want to manipulate this directly, but just letting you know for the purposes of demonstration uh, where that command builds its resources. So now we have our DL4J examples and we've used Maven to build the dependencies needed for those examples. The next step is to launch IntelliJ to point at that examples repository. Launching IntelliJ, we're going to want to import a project. So I have a clean install of IntelliJ. It starts with the create new project or import project screen. If I had previously used IntelliJ on this machine, 
I would go to the File, New, Import Project. So Import Project. And select the DL4J examples that we downloaded with Git. We want to import project from external model, and that external model is Maven. The defaults here are fine. Let's import Maven projects automatically. Click Next. The default here is fine. Select which version of Java. And the default name is fine. And click Finish. It will take some time to update the indexes. So I'm going to let that complete. So you'll see the spinning wheel down here at the bottom uh, and see uh, that some processes are running. Now that our IntelliJ indexing process has completed, let's take a look at what we have in the examples. There are a number of examples for different subprojects. Uh, DataVac for uh, data ingestion and ETL, uh, CUDA for uh, running on GPUs, uh, Spark for distributed training. I'm going to take a look at the DL4J examples. In particular, I'm going to take a look at the data examples. There's a nice simple CSV example here that takes a look at some iris data, which is a collection of measurements on irises. Petal length, petal width, sepal length, sepal width, and then which iris it was. Iris 0, 1, or 3. Three species of irises. So this little example builds a neural network, reads in that data, and builds a classifier saying given a sepal length, a petal length, petal width, and a sepal width, predict which species that iris is. So we can run it right here. And it'll train the network and then evaluate the network. So that's how you get your examples set up and how you get your IntelliJ environment configured. Take a look at the examples, uh, perhaps build some neural networks of your own, and enjoy.